One of the most talented teammates that you had was Kurt Schilling. And uh, since you were on that 2004 team, I want you to tell the story here. And I don't know if you know, you might not know. Was that was that real blood on the sock? I, you Maybe you don't even know. What uh, about, uh, say it again, because you went out for a second. Was that real blood on the sock? Yeah, no, that was uh, that was ketchup. And so, like, <laughs> oh, you guys didn't know that yet? So we're going to break it up. We're breaking, breaking the news. <laughs> no, I will tell you this. He, that was my video camera that I, I recorded when that movie came out four days of October. Mm-hmm. And you see the, the stitches that they did this surgery in the back of the training room. It was Dr. Morgan. I'll never forget it. And I'm like, what the heck? It was a tendon that was over the kind of the ankle bone that was causing him all the pain. He couldn't walk, right? And next thing you know, they cut this thing open. They sutured it over. And it was like, what's going on? And then, you know, they, they put in six or seven, eight stitches. But the kicker was, it was a shill way, was that, you know, we had the writing on the spike to go along with the blood on the sock, and you can bandage that up. So Yankee fans, I can see how they can get on their nerves. But Red Sox fans, we wouldn't have won it without him, man. It was pretty awesome to kind of witness and see. And that every fifth day, you love the guy. Yeah, I mean, he played through pain, no question about it. And I have voted for him for the Hall of Fame just about every year. But uh, now, are you just to clarify, you, you, you think that was blood, though? Yeah, I think it was barely a little bit of blood with maybe barbecue sauce ketchup <laughs> from the in and out burger because Schilling loved to eat. He still loves food.